Hello, everybody! I'm getting closer to the microphone now. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac, as Samson would complain but can't because the last run was just absurdly positive. Holy crap, Samson starts with like a shot speed increase, or I'm just not used to seeing tears instead of Mom's Knife combined with Polyphemus, which is indeed what we got on the last run. Mom's Knife and Polyphemus was a universal item pools run. They both appeared in item. Ah, uh, one of them was in the library. Polyphemus is in the library. Um, Mom's Knife appeared in an item room. Jesus Christ himself appeared to me in a vision and said, My son, I bestow upon you uh, all of the good things and the, the bounties of, of the universe. Enjoy your prosperity, and if you throw, I will find you and uh, give your bitch ass 69 spankings. Luckily, I got very lucky. And, well, I got very lucky to get those items. But afterwards, I just was lucky enough to, you know, not have a heart attack or stroke and die mid-run. And basically, we got carried the entire time. Hopefully a similar thing ends up happening with Samson. I mean, Jesus Juice is a pretty good pickup. I will probably leave this floor with sacrificing uh, my entire spirit heart. Wow, what a tiny floor. Uh, sacrificing my entire spirit heart uh, in order to check out that curse room just because there's a chance that it could be worthwhile. And I'm confident enough that we can survive the next floor uh, on one red heart if necessary. But hope... Okay. Let's take the pill first. Tears down. Suck on that. Bombs are key. Better. We are taking nine lives. Uh, it's a bit of a scary play, but if you're gonna go down to one heart, which is what we were planning on doing it anyway, or what we were planning on doing anyway, sorry, I should say, um, we might as well do it and, uh, you know, have nine one-ups kind of resting behind it. Now, I hate this mob trap room. We're probably, I was gonna say, we're probably gonna die on this room. Um, I hate that mob trap room because it spawns two waves of enemies. So there's one life down. But, keep in mind, um, with nine lives, now we're probably gonna place a huge priority on becoming Guppy. If we can get a deal with the devil, and that deal with the devil allows us to pick up a, uh, a Guppy item, then I would be loath to not pick it up. We're also gonna get the D20, which is a surprisingly useful, uh, item for us, even as Samson. Yeah, we'll take it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna reroll yet. Uh, I'm tempted to reroll that red heart, because, you know, we're not gonna need it. But, uh, I think instead we'll just back off for now. So this is a very interesting run with some very interesting kind of you know, value propositions just inherently set into it. Uh, I'm interested to see how this, you know, takes flavor, takes shape, I should say. Almost died right there. A good pill, tears up? Tears up! That's exactly what I wanted, so I'm pleased with that. Um, of course, the way the D20 gets its major value is if you manage to find a blood bank. Unfortunately, that looks pretty unlikely for us on this floor. Uh, but hopefully at some point in the near future, you manage to pick up a blood bank with a little bit of extra health to go on, and then we can just use the D20 to start balling out of control. If you're gonna start on a Samson run, uh, you know, a damage upgrade, and then something that insulates you a little bit from the probability of dying a lot is kind of a, a nice selection of items to get. Now again, D20 might be useful here. It might be useful on that red heart back there. I should use it at least like once per floor. I don't know. I Maybe we'll reroll both of the pennies and we'll get more red hearts out of it. That's another re-rollable room. But we did pick up another bomb out of that, so, you know, we basically traded two pennies for a bomb. That's a pretty good trade, I guess, in the whole scheme of things. Uh, and it's not like we had enough money to go to the uh, shop anyway. We can actually just use Abel if we're very clever. Let's try this out here. We'll use Abel to get all the kills for us down here. So then Abel's gonna come over here. It's like remote-controlled Wally or something. And there we go. No, 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 you're, you're chasing the wrong guy! Alright, well, I had to put him out of his misery, unfortunately. And we're gonna be fighting an individual version of Monstro, which should be fairly easy to take out. You know, Abel is not the greatest item in the game. That is, um, something that probably does not necessarily need to be explicitly stated. But, he's a nice little damage boost, I guess, for us, which is, uh, or I guess, I should say. Sometimes I'm guilty of saying, I guessed, instead of, I guess. But, uh, you know, that's just the, uh, login for every hotel's Wi-Fi, uh, in history. Wait, what's, what's the name of the Wi-Fi? I guessed. What's the password? The password is... Password. The password is the name of the hotel, but it doesn't matter because we have two megabytes download speed for 300 rooms total. Anyway, uh, sure, there's an HP upgrade there. The reason I'm not going to pick it up right away is because we might want to kill ourselves on this room like that, and then I get to pick up the HP upgrade so I didn't sacrifice the HP to get it. You see what I'm doing there? Feels pretty good. We probably could find the secret room on this floor, and that would be probably in the future where I would like to use my D20 the most. So I'm, I'm gonna keep that in mind, because it was kind of stupid of me to just ignore that this time. Could have found it easily, maybe re-rolled nine things instead of two things. Oh well, though. What's done is done. 
Uh, it was a very smart idea. I'm not gonna toot my own horn more than is necessary, but it's necessary to at least note that it was a very smart idea to not pick up the uh, boss room item until we'd already kind of gone through the uh, the devil room to see the prospect that we had laying before us. So now we have a free ability to fly, which also comes with a uh, passive speed increase. Not the greatest item in the world, not the worst item in the world, but for one life of our nine, absolutely no-brainer pickup. Ten bombs? I kind of wish you just put ten bombs on the ground and I could re-roll them all with D20. Oh well, this will still allow us to find our secret room. Again, this is not the best item in the world, not the worst item in the world. Lord of the Pit. Uh, it's substantially better, obviously, but let's, you know, not worry too much about that. That is probably the last time we'll be able to, um, do that trade. I mean, it's kind of the thing about... You know, giving up lives, uh, but then taking the HP afterwards via nine lives, is that you can really only do it once. Because after that, then you've already, you're sacrificing the HP that you got earlier. Maybe it's still worth it in some cases. Um, like if I could stay at the exact amount of health I have right now, but lose one life and pick up mom's knife, that's absolutely a no-brainer. But pretty soon, if we get a few more HP upgrades, uh, it becomes un uh, impossible, I should say, for us to uh, feel good about doing that trade anyway. So, we'll see what we've got going on in our secret room. That is it right there. And it's the unicorn horn. Unicorn horn is not awful, but also not as good as the D6. Sorry, definitely not as good as the D6, but also not as good as the D20, I would say. So, we'll see if there's any other rooms that uh, have a lot of consumables that maybe we want to uh, go to. You know, it would be great if we got the... You know what, this is worth it. Alrighty then. <laughs> it would be great if we got uh, X-ray goggles. Or, sorry, X-ray specs, because then it would allow us to, um, let's put one over here. I think that's a good place for it. Pretty good. Um, if we got X-ray specs, then it would allow me to go to the second secret room, and if we found a second secret room that had, like, 12, um, red hearts on it, that is, like, the ideal fucking, uh, D20 room. I did not get hit there, holy shit, okay. Will some of these bomb flies please die? I should just throw another bomb down, but I, I'm weirded out about it because I don't know... Where the enemies are gonna be at any given moment in time. Okay, maybe I should take care of the existing bombs. There we go, before worrying about killing the other worm. I think that's a very smart idea. But I'm not always a smart man. Did you see that guy take a little bit of a left turn? It's crazy. This is actually, if I, I did. I succeeded here without taking damage until if, at the very least when the boss was dead. Um, or the very worst, I should say, when the boss was dead. And we got meat out of that. That's a huge pickup for us. Okay. Again, good floor. Not a great floor, but a good floor down to the next floor uh, and hopefully we'll get better use of the d20 at some point here no arcade much to my chagrin we uh you know it's hard to say we necessarily deserved it but we, we qualify you know we had over five cents and it's a uh, an even numbered floor oh well though shit happens i suppose this is uh, an annoying room but an, a room that should not be insurmountable for a man of my uh not inconsiderable isaac experience i didn't say skill notice i didn't say skill um skill and experience two different things and if you don't believe me, ask your mother. I don't know why. That was, it, it's supposed to be vaguely sexual, I guess. Came across as, like, overtly sexual. I apologize for that. There is a boss trap room here. I would like to go to it. Without a blood bank, it makes things a little... Come on. Without a, a blood bank, it makes things a little tricky. I still think it should be possible, though. And I don't have to worry, really, about rerolls, do I? Let's, might as well just take this pill. It's a tears upgrade. Should have taken it earlier, to be honest with you. I don't really feel bad about losing my spirit heart to go to this curse room, because remember, we do have nine lives, and, you know, we're building an, a half-decent uh, Samson run regardless uh, of the, the nine lives, the, the fact that we have nine lives, I should say, but it would always be nice to be able to become Guppy as well, and this is the easiest way to become Guppy. We actually lost half a spirit heart to pick up, too. That's a very good deal. Unfortunately, it will make it even harder for me to go to the uh, boss trap room, because I technically could have just thrown my spirit heart away, uh, and then, like, tried to hurt myself on a bunch of fire or something, or hit myself with bombs, then gone to the boss trap room and, and tried to make it work, but it's a little bit of a ballsy thing, it's not, it's not terrible, but it's, uh, not necessarily guaranteed to work out too well for me either. If only I could tell Abel, like, for this room, why don't you just get on my level, Abel? I've got an idea here as well that revolves around, you know, placing, like, a single bomb down, but I think it's a little risky. And we're probably better off just taking these guys out as they, uh, as they are. There we go. Another pill. We don't know what it is. It's balls of steel. That's fantastic. Could have re-rolled that, but again, I'm mostly looking for the secret room. I'm coming in here just to see if there's anything of value. Uh, I don't know if the D20 actually... Is, yeah, it is the D20. I don't know if that re-rolls everything but the map in there. If it does, that'd be cool. And we'll see. If there's nine cents, I could buy the map, or I could use the D20 to re-roll this... 
are you... I, I don't know what to say. I picked that up earlier and put it back down, but I guess uh, that's what our secret room is going to be for the remainder of the game, is the unicorn horn. It's always, I wonder if that's like a cautionary tale, you know? I'm being visited by the ghost of Northern Lion Future, and he's like, Yo, dude, seriously, you're going to want this. I wanted it for this room. I should have taken it for this room. I'm not, I'm not getting very good use out of the D20, but the potential exists for it to be amazing. Uh, the unicorn horn is what it is, which is, you know, maybe average spacebar item, slightly above average spacebar item. Uh, but one that I don't really see myself, uh, you know, if we were at a car dealership, I don't see myself driving off the lot in a unicorn horn. I see myself driving off the lot in a D20 or a D6 or a blue candle or something along those lines. A nice book. Bum friend is kind of antithetical to what I'm trying to accomplish here with the D20, but we'll pick him up regardless. I say that because, you know, if there's pennies on the ground, I want the opportunity to think about re-rolling them and then possibly, you know, re-roll them uh, with the um, D20, but I guess, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, as I always say. Should be a little faster to kill this guy, and we get another uh, Balls of Steel pill. That's totally fine with me. So, maybe we'll get, like, Pageant Boy. I would never wish that on anybody, but uh, it does give me the opportunity to maybe get a little bit better use out of my D20 than I have so far. So far, I've picked up, like, a key or a couple bombs out of it. I really have no business getting hit against Fistula twice, especially. I was going to say, maybe I have business getting hit once, but uh, twice is just out of control. Three times, potentially, because these guys can come over top of rocks, so you got to worry about that. Oop. But... We just kind of keep a good head on our shoulders. We should be a-okay. All right. Range upgrade can't do shit with. Guppy's tail, we will take. So we are going to go hard on this commitment to becoming Guppy. I could pick up the mark as well, but... I should pick up the mark. No. No, we're not going to do it. I'm going to D20 this. We traded a red heart for a bomb. Not getting very good use out of the D20 so far, but one good secret room. Oh, we have an XL floor. Or a blood bank could change that, so this is what we're looking for. Blood bank of the century. Y no. So, oh, but bum friend's gonna pick up the money. Okay, so we have to, w I don't know how we do this. Bum friend, you're such a shit eater sometimes. You're gonna screw me out of being able to use D20 effectively. She can tell bum friend just to go, you know, F himself. I thought maybe, like, he wouldn't pick it up until I was done with the room. I guess if there were still enemies on that room, I could have made it happen. So that's gonna... Well, we'll pick up our key, actually. I was gonna say, this is gonna be where we're gonna use our D20. It still might be, but, um... You know, we wanna make sure we have the keys that we need. Bomb and a, uh... Single red heart maybe isn't that special. There's no curse room here, which is disappointing, and we're not gonna be able to earn a deal with the devil here, so our chances of becoming Guppy are looking a little bit hindered. Oh, this was a, a bum friend worthy, or, um, you know, a D20 worthy room, probably. Eternal Heart. We'll not pick that up yet. Sure, bum friend. Why don't you pay out with something? That's what your job is. At least after he pays out with something, I could D20 it. The reason, by the way, we're not picking up that Eternal Heart. Ooh, that's really nice. The reason we're not picking up that Eternal Heart right away should be obvious, but if it's not, uh, if we play the Blood Bank, we lose the Eternal Heart. That sucks. We don't want to do that. Our rate of fire is through the gosh darn roof. I really like... Skinny Odd Mushroom. I know that it comes with a, a damage downgrade for your individual tiers, but the DPS is, like, objectively higher. Uh, for most items, anyway. There are probably some items where it doesn't work out that way. Check out our shop. Portable slot. In a weird way, portable slot and D20 might work together very well. But not for us. At least not right now. So you know what? You, you win, bum friend. You win. Give me some consumables that I can reroll. The pennies would be way more cost-effective, but sure, you're the, you're the expert here. Yeah, live bomb. Why not, right? Blow up the blood bank. Bite the hand that feeds. Probably shouldn't have picked up that red heart, but whatever. In fact, I don't even know. What? I really should not have picked up Bump Friend. Let's be honest, that, that's kind of fucked things up here, and I, I apologize for that, but by the same token, it's kind of funny that that's how things worked out. If we get the HP upgrade here, I won't be too sad about it other, either way. I just really should have abandoned Bump Friend, and then I would have the opportunity to have a lot of fun with the D20 here, but, you know. I guess there's the one item that does not synergize with D20. We found it. But he still could pay out with something for us. Maybe not anything, you know, truly remarkable, but, you know, getting extra consumables helps. I do have Guppy's tail, so the more keys he drops, the better uh, our quality of life will become. Although I am uh, wasting a lot of keys on this floor, opening golden chests. I think it's kind of a smart idea, though, you know? Maybe get some more uh, HP upgrades before we find our next deal with the devil. I could still get a deal with the devil, remember, if we teleport out of the boss room. I think that will work on an XL floor. I really just wish there was a curse room on this floor. There's not, though. 
Let's not dwell on it. Poison Touch is a good item. Nothing wrong with Poison Touch at all. Uh, okay, we can actually get something amazing here. You're not, you're gonna think this is crazy, but you know that there's greed in there. That's a given. What I'm going, it could be super greed actually, I should say, but um, there's a greed, a greed or greed analog in there. If I kill him, uh, and then just immediately pop the D20, assuming he drops pennies instead of the D6, or instead of the Steam Sale, uh, or the quarter, I suppose, uh, then I should be able to get like seven or eight items rerolled. Yep, okay, there we go. We reroll them, we got some bombs and a key and Judas Tongue. Is Matchstick better than Judas Tongue? I mean, probably, but also by the same token, um, Judas Tongue, maybe if we can teleport out of the boss room, gives us some value. Two of Hearts is a very nice card, a very nice card indeed. In fact, if we can actually manage to come back here uh, and, oh, that's an Eternal Heart, right. I guess we'll explore everything. It's still we're very early on in this run. Uh, we might as well explore everything, and I say that because, uh, you know, the more red hearts we get, the better our lives are going to be. That was a very good explosion there. Uh, I guess one of them was, was a champion. Uh, but yeah, if we get more red hearts, then we can uh, play that blood bank more often, and that'll be good for everybody, I think. I'm trying to remember what was in the shop. Did I purchase what was in the shop? I can't recall. We got enough bombs that I feel okay about doing something like that. It also opens up the level a little bit. So I can uh, just keep these guys in a line and still have the opportunity to transition out of it fairly easily. This actually might be the way to the boss room now that I think about it. It looked like the uh, other side of the map had the majority of their leftover rooms, but that might not be the case. Might have been a trick of the camera. That's okay. One for you. And we might as well make our way up to the boss room, right? Like, we can fight the first boss at least before we uh, decide what we're going to do with our entire lives here. This is the right way. It has to be at this point, basically. More keys! Okay, so that actually helps me out a great deal. The reason I'm exploring uh, basically the entire floor that's left, by the way... Oh, yeah, go ahead, bump friend. Is because... You got nothing for me. Uh, we have Guppy's, uh, Guppy's Tail. So if I can find, you know, red chests or golden chests, I have a good chance to pick up something that's okay. What is our other card? Two of hearts. Neither of them are great right now. The world card would be awesome if it would show us the location of the uh, second secret room, but it doesn't, so we'll just forget about that for now. The world card is probably more valuable to take with us long term, because uh, the Two of Hearts card is effectively only, right now, um, only half... Oh, that was really stupid of me. Uh, it's only uh, one red heart, sorry. I, I got my signals crossed there as I was trying to... Provide commentary while also, you know, it's a tricky fight from a dodging perspective. That's kind of what I'm trying to get at here. I've got a lot of things in my mind as I try to dodge this. Gotta dodge the bomb, gotta dodge the spikes, gotta be careful if Loki's gonna shoot. Uh, and if he's gonna shoot, then I gotta get the F out of the way. Sometimes the spike will hit the bomb and the bomb will explode in my face. I don't like that. Um, sometimes the spike will hit Loki and that'll be very good for everybody, though. There's another HP upgrade, so we'll just take that and then we'll leave. Uh, I really, really, really want the blood bag to show up. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, not so great. But we'll, we'll try to make it work regardless. What do I have in my shop here? It's a tarot card. Could be a useful tarot card. Could be, could not be. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm tempted to buy it because we don't need money for anything else unless we come across more judgments over the course of this. Gotta remember not to forget the eternal heart. That's a very important part of uh, not being the world's dumbest man. So I'm hoping to buck that trend and uh, maybe put myself in a position where people actually respect my eyes and play a little bit. It's gonna be a long road, but that's okay. I've got long legs. Well, you know, probably in the average range of length for my age groups. But it's not the, the length of your legs, man. It's how you use them. Actually, I'm a terrible runner. Uh, we get more money, which I picked up. Oh no, bum friend managed to pick that one up. I, I I was looking at Abel, and I thought Abel didn't pick. Or well, Abel didn't pick it up. But I was like, why didn't you pick it up, you idiot? Anyway, you understand where I'm coming from at this point. <clears throat> so, looking for a teleportation card, I guess. I should let Bumfriend have the money. He's actually, he's like cherry picking them as soon as they come out. Oh, that's a pill. It's a tears upgrade. You know what, Bumfriend? You're proving pretty effective here. I'll give you that. I still don't really like you, but you uh, you have given me some basically objective attribute upgrades, so cool beans. Now, you know what would be cool is if there was actually a button in Rebirth that allowed you to drop money, like drop money that you had in your wallet, that would be really useful for something like Bumfriend because, uh, you know, if you had 99 cents, you might 
have bum friend, but you don't get any extra value out of having that money on you. Whereas if you start giving him some money, then he could maybe pay out with consumables. That would be nice. I think that would be a cool addition. Probably won't happen, and you know, it doesn't. It's not like I'm saying I'm gonna be mad if it doesn't happen. I'm just saying that would be a neat addition uh, to the game. I think, at least. Now, we're not really getting what I wanted to get here, which was more uh, golden chests and red hearts so I could play the blood bank a little bit more frequently. Maybe get payouts from uh, bum friend, but most importantly, have a chance to snag the blood bag. Uh, okay. So I re-rolled that as quickly as I could so that I could have a chance to get some items here, and it appears to have worked out in my favor. You can take those, bum friend, because I may not get another uh, D20 charge. So, golden chest one is just more money and some red hearts and the devil card. The devil card's the most effective card we have right now. Uh, and number two gives me more red hearts and more keys. And he dropped a red heart there. What is that, like a champion umbilical cord that I just picked up? Uh, and what was this? This is two of hearts. Okay. That was good. That was, you know, we, we got objectively stronger as a result of that uh, D20 play. Or objectively, you know, more robust list of ingredients to draw from. We found the second... No, that's the first secret room. I was really excited. I was like, oh, shit, we found the second secret room. Maybe I'll get a, another half eternal heart, and then I can get the full eternal heart, and then go play the blood bank some more. Or maybe there's a lot of red hearts in there, and, you know, I could use a bomb. and uh, Or I could just D20 it. Ooh, that would be juicy as well. Uh, can't do anything with that for now. This is a long remainder of this floor here, and, then, you know, I apologize because we're going to be on it for quite some time. But I think it's also a good idea to do so. I think just by knocking these guys down into their eyeless ooze guy state, we get, um, or their, their ooze state, I should say, <clears throat> we get uh, rage charges, which will allow us to become stronger and take the rest of them out fairly easily. Single half red heart, not the greatest uh, pickup we could have hoped for. I'm just, whoa, okay, yeah, that had to happen at some point. Okay, are you all going to jump at the same time? Because if you're all going to jump, it loses its punch. You got to jump one at a time to get maximum freakouts. Uh, we're possibly gonna get another d20 charge. Where will I use that? There are some rooms with a lot of red hearts, but red hearts are kind of valuable for me right now. This is gonna be a very interesting run to see how this develops on, on future floors. Uh, I picked up that money by accident. Sorry about that. I'm apologizing to bum friend not to use savages. Uh, okay, thank you Odd Mushroom for that. Goat Hoof is fine. It's a speed upgrade. We really don't need a speed upgrade. I was over top of the freaking hole. How did it hit me? Doesn't seem fair, does it? Temperance. Okay, now is where the fun starts. We take this temperance card back, and we're gonna get a blood bag one fucking way or the other here. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. We could probably use this temperance card on the deal with the devil room, but there's not gonna be one in all likelihood. We still have seven lives left. That's so fucked up. Okay. This is for you, bum friend. Oh, I got hit twice there like an idiot. What do you got? Bombs? What else? Got a tarot card. Tarot card is death. Uh, full heart. That's great, actually. Thank you very much for that. Okay, IV bag. IV bag is crazy possibly good. Get away from me, bum friend. Get away from me! Get away! Reroll it! Reroll it! Re uh, oh, shit. Um. Well, uh, I appear to have frozen the Binding of Isaac. I guess you shouldn't uh, use your D20 to reroll something Well, Is or well, bum friend is in the middle of something. Uh, I just got a pop-up. A script in this movie is causing Adobe Flash Player to run slowly. If it continues to run, your computer may become unresponsive. Do you want to abort the script? No. Let's do this. I'm going to wait here for like another minute and see if it works out. If it doesn't, I mean, I apologize for the way that this ended, but uh, I was, <laughs> you know, my intentions were innocent, I promise you. All right, uh, do you want to abort this script? Yes. Oh, it worked. Oh, oh, Jesus. I did it. Are you proud of me, guys? I broke the game. Uh, wasn't on purpose. It's pretty sweet, uh, I guess. As always, thank you for watching The Binding of Isaac. I hope that the end of this video has caused you to look inside of your soul and um, maybe question how you feel about yourself and how we're all just, you know, really amalgamations of, of atoms and matter configured in different ways, and that makes up the, the similarities and differences between us in our lives. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to show your support by clicking the like button, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac in the future. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.